You know, people ask me many times, why are third world leaders corrupt? I mean, every country in Africa has leadership problems. Every country in the Caribbean has leadership problems. You know why? It's simple. I figured it out. It's very simple. Why are there so many lack of great leaders in your country among black African people? Or even Mexicans? The Asian people? Why, why is there such lack of leadership in these formerly oppressed countries? Here's why. Because the oppressor hmm, did not do what Jesus said. He made sure you never knew what he knew. Now, now th these are very interesting people, you know. They're interesting. Here's what they do. They say, okay, we ain't going to teach you nothing that we know. So all we're going to teach you is how to grow cane and cotton. Pick cotton, that's all you have to do. Go get water. That's it. You don't need to know anything else, they say. And so for 294 years, you become an expert cotton picker, an excellent cane cutter. But the problem is, he doesn't teach you how to make the cane into sugar. He doesn't teach you how to turn the cotton into cloth. He keeps that to himself. After a while, you become unruly because you multiply. And so you tell him, it's more of us than you. We're going to kill you if you don't let us go. So he does something very simple. Every single situation is the same. He said, OK, uh, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. Tell you what. Uh, you could have the cotton field, and you could have the cane, because I don't want to fight you. I'm gone. And he leaves. So here you are. You call yourself free now, because you got a cotton field and a cane. The problem is, he trained you to wear clothes and to drink tea with sugar. You didn't hear what I just said. That's too deep. He conditioned you to wear his clothes and to drink tea with sugar. And he leaves you with a sugar cane field and a lot of cotton. Sharp guy. They're smart. After a few years, you begin to realize, I can't wear cotton, and I can't put cane in tea. So he comes back, and he says, uh, what's your problem? He said, look, uh, I can't turn cotton into cloth. He said, okay, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy the cotton from you at my price, because you can't use it. So you can't set the price because you can't use it. I'll tell you how much I'm going to buy it from you for. I'll buy the, the cane. You cut it at my price. So they take it away, and they turn it into cloth and sugar. Then they come back to you, and they sell you the sugar at their price and the cloth at their price. And here you are now, instead of being directly oppressed, you are economically oppressed. They didn't train you to be producers. And now you thought you were free. So. The kind of seminars I have is the seminars that help you learn how to make sugar. The kind of work I do is to teach you how to turn cotton into cloth. So that you become free to get your farms back and know how to convert cotton into cloth. And instead of just being consumers, you become producers. This is leadership. So what they do is they don't teach you how to lead. They don't teach you how to operate anything. And then when they leave you, they say, take charge. So here's the African guy in Ghana. You know, the British is gone, and they never teach him how to be a leader like them. And he got power. He got all this country. He got this, but he got no training. And so we have a slave wearing a crown. Woe to the land when a slave becomes king. Words of Solomon. Now what I think is unfair is that they come back later and say, see, you can't rule. I told you, you ain't born to rule. Look how you messed up your country. Corruption, abuse, you know. And, this, and what they don't know is that they are the blame. They never trained me. You don't understand what I'm talking about. How can you set me up to fail and then tell me I failed? Oh, come on, clap. You get what I'm talking about. If we got to get this right, you, you don't prepare me for failure and then say, I failed. I blame you for my failure because you never trained me to be a leader. It is enough for the teacher to make the student just like him. I guess you could say, my conclusion is, and I say this to all the governments I work with, the failure of third world countries is evidence of the failure of the colonial powers. They must take the blame. And that's why I am traveling every week to a third world country, sitting with parliaments and congresses and heads of state, and I lock them up for three days. Why? I got to correct what those leaders never did. I have to somehow solve 200 years of history in two days. That's a lot of hard work, but we have to. Your problem is 
You don't believe you could turn cotton into cloth. And I've come to tell you, you can.